Elder George Q. Cannon was much pleased to be present on this interesting occasion and to listen to the instructions that had been imparted. The spectacle before him of several thousands of children was calculated to fill the minds of those with more mature years with serious and important reflections. It was delightful to listen to their united and harmonious voices, and it would be well if we, as parents, carried out the good counsel given us by Elder Orson Hyde. He then spoke of education. We had been a very poor people for some years after we came into these valleys, and for several years most of our crops were eaten up by grasshoppers and crickets, and yet our parent government had never appropriated a dollar to aid us in the education of our children. He then spoke of free schools so popular in the minds of many in this country and so strongly advocated. He begged respectfully to differ upon that principle of education. He believed it was a species of pauperism, which was not good and wholesome to inculcate in society. Let us learn to be self-sustaining and not depend upon others' industry or means when we had the means of procuring what we needed by our own exertions. Those who were unable to aid themselves, let us render what assistance they required. It was more blessed to give than to receive.